the mountains are still covered and alive with great cloud banks, huge and grey. And here down on the plains, black and white, that great equid, virtual zebra, kind of built like a stocky pony or horse, this animal. But each with its own unique patterning and stripes by which individuals can be identified. No two zebras are the same and one can look at thicknesses of stripes, patterns and color to differentiate individuals. Quite beautifully camouflaged as well. Always, you know, especially during the, the hours of early morning and late afternoon when predators are most active, zebras look indistinct and can confuse predators by the illusion of distorting distance with the striped patterning. What the larger animals like these virtual zebra leave behind in terms of feces becomes a source of um, the base in which these thousands and thousands of species of dung beetle lay their eggs and complete their breeding cycle. There are worldwide over well over 5,000 species of Scarabaeodai which is the dung beetle. Fierce, astounding little creatures, quite alien in their look. You can see here a great many different kinds, large and small. Most of them dark colored, some metallic and quite beautiful. All of different habit. Some would roll um, brood balls as such and take them away from the dung heap and bury them. And others of the smaller ones might even just burrow down below the dung heap where they would then mate and deposit their eggs. Sometimes even staying down underneath that area of soil and until the young are hatched. Quite a startling anatomy when one looks at the strength in this creature and what it manages to achieve and the alarming single-mindedness in the way that it expresses its purpose but certainly one of nature's wonders. They're also extremely competitive and you can see how they position themselves and exercise great strength in tossing off attackers and uh, would-be brood ball thieves. So once they've um, composed their brood ball as such, you see him chucking away the adversaries here, literally picking them up and, and tossing them away particularly powerful individual, this one. But once he's um, composed and readied his brood ball, or she, she would then roll it away from the dung heap as quickly as possible to stop this kind of predation. Incredibly tenacious, aren't they? This primordial battle for a ball of dung. And so there they go, brood ball safely away, 
here's a pair that are working together, which is really quite interesting. So they will go underground this pair with the brood ball, where they will then mate before preparing the brood ball. So that's quite different. They don't always compete for the same ball. Sometimes they work together. And away we go.